a quick video instalment by Robinson Labs. Now this one is entitled Check Your Pin Outs on Your Way Basto. Uh, clients brought me a board. I was a bit unsure about the pin outs myself and it was wrong. Terribly wrong. So this is from a Porsche KM. So it's a Thermotop C, but there are many like it. But this one's from a KM. So way basto. They know what they're doing. You'll find on the internet, we'll show you this pin out in a minute, that on the internet there is but only one pin out. And that's for a Thermotop C, but the analog edition. So lots of people are confused and think that they can put 12 volts up its clacker and it'll turn on. This is not the case if you have a CAN bus edition, which this is, being from a Porsche KM. There are no other pin outs available, unless you're a tech repairer for Waybasto, or Porsche, or VW, or Audi, etc, etc, etc. So my lovely assistant will bring the camera over so we can get a bit of a closer view of this uh, PCB. Can that see the screen at the minute? Not from there. Make it see what make it see the screen. Can't see the screen? Yes. So this is your typical pin out that you'll find online. And it says that pin one is on, pin two is diagnosis, pin three is outside air temperature. Unless it's analog and you know it to be analog, you must disregard this. So we'll just uh show the board and we'll show what happens to it if you get your pin out wrong so I'll bring the board up so that you can see just for a second to show you the actual chips this little chip here is the L9637D this one is the TJ CAN bus driver which we'll show you and this one with the can you see that there? Yeah. And this, hmm, that's a bit better. This one is the uh, voltage regulator, which has a wire micro soldered on, and I'll explain that in a second. So, it's that particular board, or it looks like that, but they are not all the same as I'll show you now. <coughs> Excuse me. So, to the computer. So this is the L9637D. I know this chip inside out. We use them on our own products. It's a hardy chip, but it doesn't like voltage going up it the wrong way. So as we can see, K-line is pin six. So to do a pin out, we need to reverse engineer. So is that, is that pointing down there? So that everybody can see. ready with the probes. So pin six. It's very small. On pin six and we, we stroke the pins to find out which one it is. And it's pin one. Ah, pin one. So we'll just stop there. So what we'll do now is we'll pull the PDF up for the actual thermo test software. And we can check. And we have four Audis, Bentley, BMW, Jaguar, Land Rover, Mercedes, Mazda, and so on and so forth. And on the next page, we will get to Porsche. But just to show you, the four first Audis, pin two, pin two, pin one, pin one. Oh, so next page. Ooh, ooh. The only one in the list is the Porsche KN, Thermo Top C, and Diagnostics is in fact 
on pin one. So we move on. This is the TJA 1054T and CAN H is on 11 and CAN L is on 12. So we'll probe again. There we are on 11 and we probe and that's pin two. And then up onto the next one and that's pin three. Oh, we have our power MOSFET here, which is the, is that, is that shown okay? Mm -hmm. So we have the power MOSFET here, and if we go onto the glow plug pin, that's the power MOSFET for the glow plug. I won't probe this one, but this is the power MOSFET for the fan. And then this one in a strange package, if we get on pin six, that's the MOSFET, but well, you guessed it, the dosing pump. That's the only one that appears to be right. So in this instance, we've applied power and we found that we have no five volt feed from the regulator, hence what this lead was for. We've injected five volts in to produce uh, a five volt stream for the board. We connected it to W bus, and of course we have nothing. So in my opinion, the 9637 needs changing. Well, we've got plenty of stock of them. That's not a problem. The TJA canvas chip needs changing. We have them. That's, that's, that's not a problem. However, this voltage regulator, the Germans are good at this. There's three different types made of this voltage regulator. If we go back to the computer, is that looking all right? We can see that they make it in three different packages. Now today I've checked on Farnell, RS, CPC, ebay.co.uk, .com, and a few other places that we use. The one that's in here, the 20 pin package, they have stopped making. These two are still available. So though we can change the other two, the communication chips, to give it a go, we can't actually get that voltage regulator. So the only way to fix this board would be to have a donor board that has that particular voltage regulator or it's a replacement board. It's still worth a go if uh, the client has a spare board. He, he told me he has a small fistful so hopefully, hopefully he's got one to send me. I can change the other two chips and then we're at 50-50 because has it damaged the microcontroller? Well, we won't know that till we've changed the voltage regulator and the two communication chips. Only then will we discover if there's any software corruption or damage to the, to the microcontroller. But in my opinion, my professional opinion, seeing as uh, for a Porsche KM, these things secondhand are retailing for a whole way basto at 299. Um, it's still worth a go if he has a spare donor board for this voltage regulator. If it was the MOSFET for the uh, glow plug, for the fan, anything else, they're available. It's not a problem. It's just, just by chance that this particular voltage regulator, they've stopped producing in this package. So, always check your pinouts.